Hello everybody and welcome to another Atlas tutorial video. Today we're going to tame a bear because bears are needed for a lot of things in Atlas. They're pretty tanky and they can do some damage and I need them for this playthrough in order to get through some of the higher level treasure maps. So I'm going to show you today how to do it. I'm going to be using a set of billboards. I'm going to be using a bow and some fruits and veggies. Bears prefer honey, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find honey yet. So first thing I'm going to do, and this should be pretty easy to do, is get the bear stuck in a billboard so so that he can't get out okay so now the bear should be stuck here and should not be able to hurt us once we start uh shooting our bow and arrow so get your bow and arrow out and we're gonna fire this is a level four bear so it's not gonna take a lot of shots from the bow you don't want to use a pistol or something like that because there's a chance that you kill it. I did kind of a spoof video of how not to tame a bear and that's kind of what happened. So anyway, you're gonna sneak up behind the bear's shoulder so that you don't aggro and uh, get killed by the bear. And I have wheat because we have a ton of wheat on this island um, and I've been able to grow a lot of wheat. So this is as easy as it is. Um, it's really nice that the bears aren't aggressive, so you don't really have to chase them around or they don't have to chase you. You can just set up the billboards around them and tame them this way. I find this way easier than making taming pens and having the bears chase you into them. So uh, yeah, this is definitely the easiest way for me. So since this is a low uh, level bear and my taming affinity is pretty high, it's not taking that long to tame it. I'm going to have to go out and find higher level bears to tame as well as start breeding bears, which will be an interesting video because breeding in this game is not intuitive at all. Alright, so this is our bear. Um, I'm just going to call him Jack. Not, not feeling very original with names today, but after you've tamed your bear, he'll start healing and you can remove the large signposts or billboards. I call them billboards. Um, and then I will show you the skills that I have in order to tame. So in order to get this guy, I have um, leveled all of the taming all the way down to advanced taming proficiency. So basically I can tame tier one, tier two, and tier three animals. Um, and also I can make cargo harnesses and I can make the saddles that go with these animals. So the bear wears a tier two saddle, so I'm going to have to get him a saddle and of course work on leveling him up. Looks like he has above average stamina, uh, default melee, and the health I think is default as well. So I'm going to have to work on getting his health up as well as uh, a bunch of points into melee damage. So this is the first bear. As I said, I'm going to try and have like three or four bears when I'm doing these bigger maps. And I can just hop from bear to bear and heal them if I need to. That's going to be in another video. I can show you how to use the heal commands and the enrage commands while you're mounted on a team to help you get stuff done. What are these pigs doing? Do they want to join the club too? <laughs> I might tame some extra pigs and bring them with uh, their knockback is pretty good for Ship of the Damned. So that was just a really quick tutorial on how I prefer to tame a bear. As I said, there are other ways to do it, but for me, this is just the easiest. It's super stress-free and the chances of you dying are really low unless a <laughs> stray cobra or a stray lion sneaks up on you uh, out of nowhere. So I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to check out the description box down below for links to my socials if you're more curious about me and the channel. And as always, guys, I hope you are enjoying your games, and I will see you all in the next video.